How to be your dog's best friend A training manual for dog owners. Learn your dog's moods and feelings. This requires being observant and learning what you can about your own dog's temperament. Use their body body language to learn how your dog is feeling and if they were comfortable. If you just adopted or purchased this dog, give it some time to adjust to its surroundings before overwhelming it with attention. Dogs will try to tell you things that they need and want. They may bring you their favorite toy or a tennis ball if they want to play, or whine by the door if they need to go outside. Playing attention to the cues that your dog gives you will help you to address their needs and wants. Some dogs may express themselves with different noises and expressions. Others, however, may be quieter and harder to read. Pay close attention to your dog's body language. A dog's body language can tell you how they are feeling about a situation, their mood, or if they are receptive to other dogs and people in their space. Dogs that have relaxed body positions, are enthusiastically wagging their tail or thumping it on the floor, have a happy expression on their face like a smile, and are in a play bowl, bowing the front of their body towards the floor with their tail wagging, are happy and receptive to play. Dogs that are scared or anxious may try to avoid you by backing away from you, turning their head and body away from you, and hiding behind another person or object. Anxious dogs also may have their tail between their legs, and have wide bulging eyes. This is called a half-moon eye. A dog that is aggressive may growl, guard their favorite possessions, snap at you, snarl, lunge off their leash, and bite. Give your dog space. All animals need downtime and to be alone so they can rest. Just like humans, dogs can become overwhelmed, tired, and cranky. If they're tired, they may try to tell you that they'd like to be alone by avoiding you and going to a space they enjoy sleeping in. This doesn't mean that your dog doesn't like you, they just need some time to themselves and to reset. Give your dog space when they are tired, seem agitated, or appear to be afraid. Make sure that the dog has a private, quiet space where it can retreat if it needs to nap or rest. This could be a crate, a bed in a different room, or a separate couch. Once you are able to learn your dog's body language, you need to respond appropriately to what they are communicating to you. Respect your dog. Whether you have had this dog for a few weeks or for many years, you should always treat them with respect and love. If you want your dog to become your best friend, you also have to be their best friend. Friendships are built on mutual respect and care. The way that you treat your dog will become the ways that your dog will treat you. When you treat them with care and attention, they will reciprocate in their own way. Never harm or hit your dog. This is animal abuse and you should not have a dog if you cannot refrain from hurting them. If you have a dog that you find yourself abusing, immediately surrender the dog to a shelter where they can be well taken care of. If you suspect that your dog has been harmed by someone else, you should take them to the veterinarian immediately. Contact law enforcement or your local animal control agency and let them know that your dog has been harmed. If your dog does not trust you, it will take time to develop a relationship. Dogs that have been rescued from abusive situations may take a longer time to warm up to you and to feel safe. Be respectful of the fact that they need more time to feel comfortable, and let the relationship progress at a slower pace. Some dogs may be startled by noises or fast movements. If you have a new dog in your home, try to move more slowly around it until it relaxes and you learn its triggers. Keep your dog safe. Your dog's safety can be threatened by things outside and inside of your home. Keeping your dog safe will help them to live a long and healthy life so that you can spend more time together. Dogs are unable to eat many food items. You should avoid feeding your dog from your table as part of your behavioral training, but be aware that certain foods pose serious health risks to your pet. Some of the more common foods that dogs can never eat include chocolate, avocado, raisins and grapes, fruits with pits, garlic, and onions. Always keep your dog on a leash when you take them on a walk. Many cities and states have laws that forbid dogs to be off leash, but it's always a good idea to stay on the leash. Leashing your dog can help keep them away from other dogs that may be aggressive, busy roads and intersections, and the risk that they may run away. Pet proof your home. Like babies and small children, Dogs are curious creatures that can get into things they shouldn't. 
Lock away your cleaning products and any medicines. Buy a trash can that your dog can open. Move or put away any cords lying on the ground. Use baby gates or lock doors to keep dogs out of rooms they don't belong in.